Good morning, folks. Today's news brought to you by the Rebel Alliance. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. We've got space weather, updated hurricane forecast for the U.S. East Coast, and a slice of cosmic energy and human health. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star and seeing pops and shifts across the disk, which is now peppered with umbral magnetic fields. One snap topped them all, however, departing limb. A Type 2 radio emission released with the plasma cloud as the flare didn't quite hit M-class range, but was able to put ejecta out into space. Satellite looks from Earth, missing us 90 degrees to the right. The lone blast going that way is a nod to the Earth-facing quiet, as you can just look at all the silenced cores here. New group is lackluster, but let's go one by one and analyze the development with solar growth departing on the south. Should fire in a few days, but it will be gone by then. This one was all by himself yesterday when we looked, but it is now on the verge of delta-class magnetism and flare-making. Just as we saw spread yesterday, we've got mixing right back in the middle of the big one today with that blue umbra, positive, coming out of nowhere in the negative field. Earth-facing quiet winning the battle so far, and the battle rages on today. Top quake of the last 24 hours was a five-pointer that struck Idaho. Rare to be sure, but not terrifying as I've pulled every bigger quake in the western U.S. for just the last decade and a half. These events, as you can see, are fairly regular each year. We also took a 6.3 in North Korea, but the press and the seismic waves all say it was a nuke test. Dude loves bombing his own country. Quick note out of Russia and China, they peeked in on minute-by-minute -minute EKG data and found even in 100% healthy, young students, there was both heart rate increases and changes in variability parameters during geomagnetic storms. A splendid confirmation of previous works, which mostly looked at generalized admissions or high-at-risk patients. Folks, there are many kinds of space weather and many types of possible effects. While solar flares and radiation storms get worse as they level up, geomagnetism and cosmic rays operate on equilibrium, where either extreme is a negative parameter. Folks, we're looking at infrared images of Irma in the Atlantic. The reason we'll update these tracks every day is because they change with the wind literally. With a few models having the system hitting Florida, let's go to the two primary models now, and they agree on landfall. European model here first, the most accurate, shows a slowing down of the system, and it wouldn't be till late on the 11th or early on the 12th that the Carolinas were struck directly. The agreement comes as GFS models show landfall impact in the exact same location, but with it occurring almost a full day earlier than the European model. Again, we will update these every day. And quickly, coming back to the Space Weather Health chart, you can find this in both our app and our book. The book is broadly topical and covers space weather, meteorological effects, earthquakes, and health. The only app on Earth to send space weather health alerts is the Disaster Prediction app, and we are also running Nine Reese's fastest solar flare and storm alert system in the world. There will be more of a focus on space weather and human health at the 2018 Observing the Frontier conference than in all of those conferences before combined. Pre-registration ends in just 12 days. Love to see you in the desert. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.